Hey YouTube peeps. So I'm starting my collection and education and on zinc electroplating. Uh, done a lot of research, looked at a lot of YouTube videos and then some website instructional manuals. This is just focusing on zinc electroplating. And then the second step of I've got some of the chromate. I bought the blue chromate instead of the gold chromate. I just want a subtle iridescent look. So the second step, the chromate kind of protects the zinc from the zinc from oxiding and corroding. So the zinc protects the metal underneath and then the chromate protects the zinc is the goal. So I bought this cart. From Harbor Freight. It's kind of pricey for Harbor Freight, but and it got a five-star rating, and I can see why. It's an impressive little cart. Pretty easy to put together, well designed and strong. So this is like top of the line cart you can get from um, Harbor Freight. The cheaper ones are the metal ones. I don't advise getting the metal ones. They also sell a bigger size of this one. This is like high density polyethylene or polypropylene. They got a bigger size as well. But anyways, moving on. Uh, I decided to make them all my own. Uh, recipes and ingredients see how that works if not i'm going to go to caswell and buy their electric like solution but i'm going to try saving some money and mix my own solution so we got epsom salt got some epsom salt right there so this is the chemicals for the electric acidic bath this is for the plating bath Chemicals for that would be Epsom salt is the recipe I'm going with and distilled white vinegar goes with it as well and always best to use distilled water for all your recipes and your cleaning and everything. Highly recommend you use distilled water instead of tap water. I also uh, mounted a uh, power supply or power outlet that came from Harbor Freight as well. Nice and clean, no cords dragging, zip tie. This is what I decided to go with for my plating tank. Uh, then I've got three five gallon pails that we'll use for dipping, cleaning, pickling, and this would be the zinc plating tank. Uh, it looks like this cart's perfect size for this, so for this tank that I picked out. So I'm going to buy two more of these and put them on the top instead of here. So I think three of these will fit on top that I can use for some of these processes. Uh, this is here. Okay, the other chemicals needed for the other step. This is uh, battery acid, um, so sulfuric acid. Uh, this would be for pickling. This is be pre dip for um, the chromate bath. That's the second step of the plating is gold or blue chromate. So you pre dip it in, uh, I don't know, I'll go over later with the, the actual percentage of, you know, for like 5 10% acid to 100% of water mixture. I don't know yet. So that's going to be used for the chromate pre-dip, and you can use a little bit less aggressive muriatic acid, which is hydrochloric acid, which is the pool. Get in the get that in the pool uh, section of any hardware store. Couldn't find it at um, Walgreens because I think they're kind of seasonal on that stuff. I could be wrong, but I tried to find that at Wal Walmart. Excuse me, Walmart. Couldn't find it. Uh, I do recommend getting the five can, five gallon buckets from Walmart. The best price are two dollars and like two ninety eight or something like that. Two ninety seven. They're the best price. They're even better price than uh, Home Depot or Orchard, I believe. And the lids uh, come separately. You have to purchase these separately. They're like a dollar ninety seven again at Walmart. I got this tank at Walmart. This is a uh, 16 7 8 by 11 and a half by 9 and a quarter height tank. 
that fits perfect in this smaller cart. So getting back to the muric acid, that's uh, you add that to your distilled water tank, and that's going to be your pre-dip for the planing process. So muriatic is going to be your your pre-pickle right before you put it into your planing tank, and the sulfuric acid, which is battery acid, which, which you can buy at like AutoZone or O'Reilly's. So all this stuff was easy to get. Epsom salt got from Walgreens. Um, and then some isopropyl alcohol is good to have too, isopropyl alcohol for cleaning and stuff. Uh, I still have to get, the only thing I had to order is tough to get, it was actually two items tough to get. One was the other chemical for the Plating solution. So the three chemicals for the plating solution are the Epsom salt, the white vinegar, and the third one is a zinc sulfate. Yeah, zinc sulfate. I had to order on eBay about two pounds for like five bucks. So that'll be here today. So that's the third missing ingredient for the uh, plating bath. Uh, and then um, for degreaser, I want to go with a caustic soda. Caustic soda, which is also called um, uh, sodium hydroxide, I believe, uh, in, or lye. Lye is another word for it. The lye is hard to find because I guess it's used in meth labs, and so it's been pulled off from a lot of shelves, and it's hard to find now for us poor normal people. So the lye, I think I can get at Ace Hardware. It's the same ingredient that's used in the the uh, not the you know the, the Drano the crystals. The Drano crystals is kind of the same ingredient. It's it's called lye, and you want 100% lye. You want to make sure you don't have any other ingredients because some of that Drano stuff has more than just lye. In it. So you want to get uh, pure lye, okay? So that's it for now. See ya.